I've been lucky enough to be president at Babson College for almost four years, and there's no question uh, within that four-year time frame the question of the affordability of higher education, both in general for the higher ed community and in particular for Babson as an institution, is always at the forefront. Uh, there's no question as we think about uh, the cost of uh, tuition and room and board uh, on a beautiful 325-acre campus, um, uh, the economics of that relationship uh, are in the minds of lots and lots of people as we go forward. Uh, for the United States as a whole, there's no question uh, that uh, college education plays an important role in both job creation and economic development. And I want to applaud the President of the United States uh, and, uh, and the articulation of a set of agendas uh, by the administration last week at the University of Michigan, where he essentially laid out uh, the nature of the problem. Uh, and it was a diagnostic that was largely focused on the public universities, uh, but it doesn't escape Babson or other schools like Babson. Uh, concerned enormously about the, uh, the cuts in state aid that are turning into tuition increases at public institutions. Last year, tuition and fee increases at public institutions uh, were uh, in excess of 8.5%, as opposed to the 3.3.2% uh, that we have managed at Babson over the last uh, several years. And there are a number of prescriptions at the federal level that are designed uh, to increase affordability in material ways. And all of those things are reasonably well known and to be applauded. First of all, uh, substantial increases in congressional allocations for student aid. Uh, uh, capping student loan payments, so uh, the, uh, the loan repayment with the average loan uh, now at graduation being in excess of $24,000, where the average loan repayment doesn't become so onerous that it prohibits students from engaging in productive activity post-graduation. And a number of proposals that are going to go before Congress uh, over the next several months that are designed to stop interest rate growth uh, and, on student loans and to extend the tuition tax credit. Uh, so as a college president, uh, who looks at all of those things and recognizes the number of my American students who are going to benefit enormously from this, um, I couldn't be more positive. Uh, I want to be clear uh, that the president is also recognizing that this can't be a one-sided bargain. Uh, that, in fact, just the federal government uh, contributing uh, to the resolution of this issue is a completely inadequate response. And what he's done is he's called on two other essential constituencies to play in the bargain. One is state legislatures. Uh, and he's asking for state legislatures to arrest uh, their systematic reductions uh, in support for higher education. The notion that the federal government can somehow fill that gap uh, it just isn't possible within the vast majority of the state university systems in the United States. But he's also calling for higher education uh, to disrupt the status quo uh, and to begin to recognize their responsibility uh, in managing the productivity and cost of the higher education they deliver. There is no question that we're in an arena where the call for the disruption of the status quo uh, is a useful one, a welcome one, and one we take seriously here at Babson. There is also no question that there's a diversity in mission and focus and structure and content of all of the players in higher education uh, in the United States today. Uh, and as we go forward to being able to figure out the role of higher education and being able to address that issue, the solutions need to take into account the complexity of the stakeholder model, the holistic perspective that we're calling for, and the explicit recognition of the diversity that exists in higher education today. But there's no question there's a role for all of us. There's a role for the federal government, there's a role for the states, and there's a role for higher education to contrib contribute in significant ways to ensuring affordability for the next generation.